how's it going? I wanted to share my first layout that I'm working on in scale, of course. Um, been worked on the actual layout and software for so, a lot of months, uh, more months than I uh, want to say. Uh, started collecting stuff, uh, purchasing stuff online or whatever. And uh, this is where I am right now. I'm just following uh, my Amtrak Superliner. Um, so this is like the first video that I'm, I'm actually talking and uh, just walking around, letting you see see what I have. Um, so that's uh, right there on the bottom is a, it's a two main, of course, obviously. But I do intend to have a, a second deck. Uh, possibly some type of third deck as well uh, based on how I, I want my layout to look um, so I, I started following you know my the layout that I intended to design but as soon as I started uh, putting track down I just started going with how I, I wanted it to be which is having a lot of uh, industries a lot of switches and uh, stuff like that uh that's what i want uh so this is uh i guess my my main yard that i'll have uh intend to have one more in the second level to to store as many tracks as i can i do have a lot of rolling stock that you won't see uh this is a better look because i do have one track uh that you can't see uh this bridge right there is like probably two and a half percent three uh, this is my my reverse loop that I I do want to I want to run that in a motor train through before this video is up. So I'll do that pretty soon. Uh, this would be my in a motor section. Uh, the main one I also will have a smaller one on a second level, hopefully, uh, where I'll kind of model a, a car float and build a crane and and whatnot. I do have a lot of kits, so. I need to find time to do all that. Uh, I'm using Digi Tracks. I'm gonna turn this uh, bell off. I'm using a DS. I don't feel like showing you under the table. DCS 52. 52, the Zephyr system. Uh, don't think I'll need a boost. I have a lot of engines, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll need a booster. I guess it depends on uh, what other accessories I'll be powering, but whatever. Uh, so this is my, my locomotive section, and I'll speak about this briefly. Uh, mainly BNSF, Santa Fe, and BN. Uh, this is all mostly DCC. Uh, this is a Sound Atlas, Sound Atlas I installed. Uh, these two are locked sound. Uh, they sound great. Need to install this decoder, non sound. These two are non sound. Those are two for DC, DCC. That's a dummy, dummy. Have some dummies back there that I, I want to run on the back of like cold trains and stuff, but probably I'll have DPU since I'll have a, a incline, a, a great incline based on uh, what I want to do. Um, just switching that. So I like the bottom, the also wanted to show uh, my other P40 tools that I have over here. Uh, those are summer sound and summer non-sound, but all DCC. Then I have some SD70 aces over there. That's another one with great sound. Um, and so the, these four SDs over here, sorry, this isn't a good view. Um, I installed the decoder on this, but it wasn't built for this body. Um, and I didn't want to waste the, the capacitor and the speaker. So I just left them on and they're kind of just on the right side of those engines. This lat, the fourth one is actually uh, a dummy. So a lot of the 
you know, just playing around with the engines, uh, doing my work, trying to make uh, engines that I purchased online work better. You know, some are damaged, but I, I realized that at least the Cato units, uh, the, they're a little friction between the wheels and the track, so that kind of works out as far as uh, making it look uh, quote unquote more prototypical, although I don't care about that, I just care about how they look or whatever to me. Um, so yeah, my ramp is all looks sloppy, but I have, I, I've tested a lot of trains on this. I tested these trailers. Uh, I've tested my uh, AM fleets on here and they seem to work. So I don't think there'll be any issues with that. Um, I do have some big plans that I doesn't make sense to talk about right now. I just at some point when I'm there, I'll be happy to show it, but I do want to get a, even a third level, uh, which would be for like me representing the powder basin, I guess. Uh, and it would, like I said, it would be a third level, but of course there's a second level. And by the way, I'll have a union station like two and a half inches up there, but I, I have it all measured out. So it should work. It'll be crowded, but with, I guess with the lighting, it'll be nice um my room is only 10 and uh, well 11 feet three inches by um six feet 10 inches at, at least for the the footprint for the table uh, and then i have some area over there but i i intend to use as much space as i can in here unfortunately i wasn't able to use another room uh, in this house but in the future i do plan on moving and for the most part all the eight the cold 80 track is uh is nailed down so i will be able to recycle in the future so that's a good thing just switching this turnout uh, all my turnouts work good for the most part i've had an issue with a number six so uh, maybe i can talk about it in a later video this one is already getting long, but where it is, so hopefully I won't derail. I'm going to reverse this train around. So much that I do want to talk about, but I'm going at a blink, so all I can do is just show the trains. Um, you know, I've always been in the trains as long as I can remember. That's why I'm an engineer now. Not a train engineer, but mechanical engineer. Uh, I'm from Harlem, New York, so I'm more in the passenger trains. And I love the MTA or the subway. You know, the subway on the back of my hand, like the back of my hand. Um, when I was a child, I used to cut class, whatever, just to ride the train. Uh, Got some wires here. Don't want to derail. I'm already far enough in this video. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, hopefully that works for you too. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm from Harlem, New York, and uh, Metro North is the outside of the subway, is what I saw a lot of. And so I do have two comic cars over there. Look at those briefly. They light up. No, I wish I I can I can't find a P42 with the New Haven colors. I would love to have one of those. Um, and I do not see those online. So, actually, all my like rolling stock and my engines are more like you know, UP, BNSF, so more of the West Coast, Midwest, which is fine with me. Uh, I have a lot of containers. I have a lot of cars that are not shown. Well, I guess I'll have to sell them or just have them saved or whatever. Um, I do have a lot of plans. I can't imagine ever being finished with this layout. I do have a double crossover over there, but I can't cross this bridge right now. I do plan on making something where I can pick it up and place it back but for now this is uh permanent uh 
do have some DC engines over here, isolated sections, uh, so I can move out one unit at a time uh, based on its position. So that's what both of these tracks are for. And by the way, I do have this isolated as well, three different sections uh, just for strategic moves. Uh, all I can think of is right now is uh, just moving DCs out the way to get them to do their jobs, whatever jobs they'll have in the future. Thankfully, I haven't had a derailment yet in this video. Oh, I forgot to turn the bell off. Actually, I have a, my other locomotives sound a lot better, but for some reason I just keep running these BNSFs. I do need to do a lot uh, better programming as far as uh, running more consistent or reliable um, consists. Ah, got a derailment right there. I knew that was going to happen. But you guys didn't see it. <laughs> it's those old torpedo trucks. It's, it's making its way back on the main track. Um, so this is one of two auto re uh, reverse sections that I'll have. The second deck is going to be about 13, 12 and a half to 13 inches up from uh, this deck that we're looking at now. Plus I have those old end track engines over there. Excuse me for not knowing the names. I know it's FP something, 40. One is older than the other. Um, ACS 64 is just because I'm from the East Coast. Of course, I can't find a seller in N scale. There's a lot you can't find in N scale, but uh, I do intend to have my coal section. Turn this off. Uh, my coal section automated as and have like a uh, my metro. My um, in the city area, I do plan to have like a a plant. And I'll have a rotary dumper, and I plan to automate that as well. Uh, so that's all I have right now. Been having an issue with this number six uh, turnout, <laughs> and this is actually the second one. And I both, I kind of modified both of them, but I can tell that I messed them up. And so, at least for now, I run trains in the opposite direction, unless it's on the in the throne path, then it works out. But um, as far as that main path, it has to go in that direction. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening.